What's going on everyone? Boss here again. This time we're here for Oshinoko, uh, Season 2, Episode 3. Last episode we got the game of telephone for this, you know, world of doing stage plays. Uh, where we saw that the manga, like we saw at the end of Episode 1, she wanted them to rewrite the script. And she said, I told you multiple times to rewrite the script, I wasn't happy with what was work. So we saw kind of how things played out where she, you know, she told her editor, editor told what the rights person, the rights person told the people at the other company, or told the, pro the producer, producer told the, the, the handler for the screenwriter. And by the time we got to the screenwriter, it was all messed up or different from what the original message was. So at the end of all that, the screenwriter was like, this kind of stuff happens, you know, but, uh, and then he got sent, like, I don't want to say kicked off seems mean, but he got, he let go from the, from this play and the, the manga is going to, she's going to do the script herself. So we'll see how that works. Um, it was kind of sad for the script, the script writer, cause he didn't really do anything wrong. He tried to, he tried his best. He read the material. Um, he tried to do what he could, uh. He wasn't happy with it, and uh, now we're here. The rehearsals are on hold, and Akane and Aqua are going to go on a little screenplay date. So we'll see this episode if we get, I guess, a little bit of the script writing and then the adventures of Akane and Aqua. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump into this episode. Hey, Ruby! Hey, boy. Yeah, someone who doesn't do anything. That's bragging. <laughs> yeah, DM'd. Oh, she still is not fitting in. Uh, Peon. First time we've seen Mem Memcho, right? Oh, date. <laughs> yeah. What is this, Prince of Tennis, but ping, ping pong? He came main everywhere. Okay. Yeah, there's girls everywhere. <laughs> ah, that's realer than you think. <laughs> oh, it was quick. Okay, I thought we were gonna get more, but hey. Ah, entertained. Oh, the seating rotates. That's crazy. Look at you, Aqua. Mursed. Try to get him hooked. She's making faces. <laughs> hey, this is high, higher scale. Oh, there's a producer. Yeah. Do it again. Oh, you're going to make him depressed again. Yeah, she doesn't know because she was like calling practice in our rehearsal. Dang, I could really appreciate it. Oh, God did it. See? Hey, he did good work. Oh, well, he's going to do. I thought he was already all gone. 
Well, I guess there's a chance to keep him. Yes, communication. Who are you calling? Who was that? I guess I can go back and look. Or not. I don't know. Surprise myself. Oh, no response to you. Yeah, she gets so different when she's with her. <laughs> All underage. <laughs> he said, You won't drink myself? You must be a heavy drinker. Uh, so she will only listen to her. Yeah, weekly manga is not a job for humans. Yeah. Them weekly publications is crazy. Oh, yeah, good idea. Yeah, which parts they focus on more? Yeah, you can get idea though. Surpass the master. Yeah, don't let that manga end. <laughs> Well, easy now. <laughs> Don't end it. <laughs> Can't keep drawing. <laughs> easy now. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she had that experience. Can she do it? Will we get a little backstory? Dang. She's like, hey, look what happened to your work. Ooh. She's like, hey, there's a lot of crap out there. Depend on yourself too much. Oh. Okay, so she's not. What is that? You got playing aqua? No assistance. Fired them. Two hours a day is not enough. Okay, we got a team. You are the big shot. Uh-oh, it's about to get real? Oh, she's not ready for that. <laughs> Oh. Uh. Oh. 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 It's going to be a benefit, though. She said it's 
sucked. <laughs> Little Miss Extrovert, you could have came over. <laughs> Stop whimpering, get. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Delivered. Oh, she feels bad. Them happen halfway compromises. Oh, she feels bad for her. Oh. <laughs> Awkward girl. But they got their feelings out, which is good. And they, you know, close enough where. It's not like their feelings are going to end, or their relationship is going to end. Oh, she liked that episode. The last episode was what people liked, right? Ah, she's going to watch it. Okay. Inspired? Alright, so that was this week's episode of Oshinoko. Um, we uh, kind of... Got a lot of folks on Akiko Sensei and what's the sweet? I forgot her name. The sweet today's uh, manga artist. I forgot her name. But we got a lot of focus on them this episode. And we also, well, to start out the episode, we got the the, the play with uh, Aqu Aqua and Akane. And um, he enjoyed it more than he thought he would. So and that was good to see. And then that inspired him to give the uh, Akiko the, the ticket to go see it. So we'll see how that affects her next episode. But uh, this episode, we saw kind of how Akiko got to the way she is now where, you know, she started as an assistant, you know, worked her way up, and then she got a lot of success immediately. And, you know, it kind of warped her mindset. Well, she was always eccentric and introverted, but it kind of warped her mindset now to the point where she believes most of the stuff she does is correct, or all the things she does is correct. Uh, she fired all her assistants. She's trying to do it all on her own. Her her manga stuff that has to do with like uh, an, the anime merchandising. Um, now the script, so she's slowly killing herself, and you know, she fortunately this episode she maybe got a, a good talking to where she was able to let her feelings and um, sweet state manga artist was able to get out her feelings and they talked and. I feel like it probably helped progress things and, you know, open both of their eyes to, to you know, their situations. And uh, hopefully it'll help in the future. Um, we'll see if, you know, Gaul stays on as a scriptwriter. I'm assuming, I thought he was going to be gone completely. I thought he was already done and we won't receive any more. But maybe it's going towards the route of, you know, they're going to compromise me halfway. Me halfway where, you know... Uh, Akiko is going to be able to have, you know, uh, uh, her input directly. Maybe the, the communication will be better, and then Ga can do what he needs to do because the play that Akiko is going to see now is written by Ga. So we'll see how she appreciates it. Um, if she does, maybe she won't. Uh, and then how they go forward with the the play because it's on hold, and I, I assume they already have their, their date announced. So once they get back, they got to kind of go through the rehearsals like that and get everything settled. Uh, which is interesting to see because like I said last week, this, this behind the scenes stuff of, of the entertainment industry, uh, particularly in Japan, is, uh, is, is cool to see. And um, it gives me, I know I appreciate the stuff like, like people would do in the industry, but this gives you more of an appreciation all the hoops. You see, I could assume the the creator for this manga, uh, Froshi Nako, might talk to people or has experiences in these in these situations. So it makes me feel like, okay, I got more insight, <laughs> and it gives me another level of appreciation um, for for these things that that they're you know adapting and and kind of showcasing in the series. Um, <laughs> and it's kind of funny too, because ju just because of what kind of 
uh, manga this is. I feel like this anime adaptation, which has been very good, but they have to be good. <laughs> Can you imagine if this was a bad adaptation and it's talking about bad adaptations? Um, that'd be so ironic, but uh, it's, it's it's pretty good. And uh, every week I'm excited. It's not, it's not like Battle Shonen, but it's still very, very interesting. And, you know, it flies, the episodes fly by just like that. So I can't wait to see what happens next. So until then.